Hi from 3D Systems. Today we'll take a look at how to get started with Cube 3 and how to get started printing. First you need a 3D file and there are a few different ways to get one to print. You can download a file from Cubify. You can scan something with the Sense or iSense. You can design something in a software like Sculpt or Invent. It's especially easy to get started with the Cube 3D printer since the Cubify design feed is linked to the design feed on Cubify.com. Just open the design feed and sign into your account. When you find something interesting in the design feed, you can add it to your shelf. In your shelf, select the file you just added and select Print Now. If you have cubes connected on Wi-Fi, their names will show up on the bar above the print screen and their cartridge status will show up on either side. If nothing is connected, it will say Offline Cube. You'll see the selected model on the Virtual Cube print plate. You can look around it in 3D by right-clicking and zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. You can move it, rotate it, and scale it by clicking on the model and using the drop-down menus accessible in the middle of the bar above the print screen. To make sure the model is sitting even on the plate, press the Auto Place button found on the right section of the upper bar. Lastly, make sure you have the right materials selected for the left and right cartridges. To determine slicing profile, press the gear icon on the upper bar and drop-down menus for layer height, infill density, and infill pattern will be available. If you're saving to an offline cube, click Save to File, and the model will be sliced and saved to a location of your choosing, such as a flash drive or a folder on your computer. With the sliced file on a flash drive, plug the drive into the computer and navigate using the print menu. When you select your file, you'll be prompted to apply glue to the print plate. The print plate will then position itself to have a layer of cube glue applied to it. Cube glue helps keep prints on the plate and prevents moving and warping, two factors that can impact how well a part turns out. When applying cube glue, you want to make sure you have just enough on the plate. Too little and the part won't stick. Too much and the print jets can get clogged. The best technique for applying the glue is to first lay down a layer of straight, parallel lines while gently squeezing the bottle, depositing glue onto the plate. Then wipe the glue in perpendicular straight lines but without squeezing the bottle. This technique will evenly spread the glue on the plate and ensure good adhesion. After applying glue to the plate, hit the check mark and let the print begin. Now our print has finished and we need to remove it from the build plate. To do this, it's a good idea to rinse the glue off the plate with some warm water. Soaking the plate in water for a few minutes works too. Now if the part doesn't come off immediately, we can take the scraper and slide it under the part. Depending on how well the print is attached to the plate, you may need to do this from several spots before the print pops off. That's it! Thanks for watching and have fun with your cube!